Fair for ah, your honest sonsy face, great chieftain of the pudding race. Hello there, my friends. Welcome back to the Scott Ree Project. And today, something really, really cool. We got us a haggis. We got us a potato. We got us a swede or a neep. And we got us a wee dram of whiskey. Put them all together, and what do you get? Haggis, neeps, and tatties. Let's do this. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him well, Horatio, a fellow of infinite jest. Okay then, so what have we got? Well, as you've seen, We've got a haggis. This one weighs about a pound. What I want to do is wrap this in foil. Now you can do these in the microwave. Very, very simple, but I like to do it the traditional way. Boil it. And obviously I've got my neeps, my swede or yellow turnips, as you can see the size of the cubes there. And then my potatoes. And you always boil these separate. Why? I don't know. But there you go. So, my haggis, wrapped in foil, into the boiling water, and then we want to simmer that for 45 minutes. Now obviously your neeps and your tatties only take about 15, 20 minutes. So about 20 minutes into the cooking for your haggis, we'll get these on, but in the meantime, we'll make that whiskey sauce, baby. Okay then, onto the sauce. We've got our pan on the heat, so we just take a decent knob of butter. And of course we've got our whiskey, our double cream. Here I've got a small shallot diced, and I've got 400ml of stock. Very, very simple sauce. Now we can make this now and we can keep it warm. So our butter is foaming we'll get our shallots in now we want to just cook those gently till they just take on a little color nothing too vigorous we don't want to burn these so nice and gentle doesn't take very long at all because they are diced nice and small ish so they've got a little bit of color on it I'm just going to take it off the heat I'm going to add some whiskey not too much I want to get this back on the heat and flambe it. So into that I'm going to pour about 250 of my stock of choice. You can use beef, you can use chicken. Then we'll get the heat back under that now. Okay then, so my haggis is simmering away in the corner there. I'm just getting that heat under that sauce. We want to reduce it down by half. I've got my tatties on now and my neeps. Just going to bring those up to the boil. Add a generous pinch of salt to each. Now the haggis I'm using then, I'm using a Simon Howie haggis. You can also use a McSween or if you've got a good butcher who makes his own, go there first. So we'll wait for that to come up to the boil, that to come up to the boil and then we'll reduce our sauce by half. Easy isn't it? Okay then, so everything is doing as it should. We're just reducing that sauce down, I'm just going to give it a taste. Absolutely beautiful. So what I'm going to do, just add a few knobs of butter, we'll make it nice and silky and enrich it. Then into my sauce, about 60ml of double cream, just knock the heat out of that a little bit now. And we'll stir that in, nice and gentle. Now I know it's not very Scottish, but I cannot help myself, you lot know the drill. I'm going to get a bit of mustard in there. A load of Scottish men and women have just done a collective sigh. 
What are you doing, boy? I do apologise. Especially to my friends, the Merrys. <laughs> so, we just let that nicely come up to heat. And the beauty with this dish is when all the components are cooked, you can keep them warm, you know, and then just plate at your leisure, baby. Just want to check that for seasoning. So, so nice. So my tatties are done. I'm going to drain those very quickly. Get those back on the heat. Let the steam evaporate so we get a nice mash. And then my neeps. Again, back on the heat. Drive out that steam. Then we can get a decent, decent mash. This sauce is absolutely superb. And you know it's good because it coats the back of a spoon like that. actually doesn't need any seasoning whatsoever look at that beautiful and now the good part a good amount of butter into each look at that and into the potato mash it baby So my haggis is done then, it's been in there 45 minutes, just follow the directions on the packet. Come on you little beauty, we'll get that on there. Next, we want to season up our neeps and our tatties. Mm. I absolutely adore mashed swede. Mm. A good lot of pepper. Swede takes pepper really well. So I'm gonna get quite a bit in there. Not too much in my potato. Personally, it don't need any salt because we actually salted the water. Nice and fluffy. Don't be too fussy about it. Mm. I cannot wait for this. Now, if you wanna put these in bowls, like I said, in a low oven, keep them warm, it's only going to help. I can't get enough of this. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, then, let's dish this up. Look at this beautiful thing. Oh, look at it. Oh, smells divine. I'm going to get in there quickly before I plate it. Mm. Right then, let's build this. Okay, my friends, there is the finished dish. A bit poncy, I know, but I tell you what. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Mm. I know a lot of you out there are going, dude, what are you doing with that plating? I couldn't help myself, you know? Mm. Right, that's enough. It's beautiful. Well, if you've enjoyed what you've seen here today on the SRP, please click subscribe when my face comes up down here. Come on, join the movement. I'm up to 200,000 subscribers now. 
absolutely fantastic. I really appreciate all your support and loyalty. Also find me on my social media, on my Facebook pages, I have two, Scott Reed and the Scott Reed Project. Get on there, you'll see the like and the follow button. Also on my Twitter, at Scott Reed Project, and if you're feeling generous and you want to share the love, please check out my Patreon page. The link will be in the comments. And finally, if you want to see how Haggis is made, I have got a video, I have made it from scratch. You'll see the link in the description. So until next time, Burns Night isn't very far away. Do, do give this a try. Obviously, we ain't got to put it in a Ponzi square. Just get it on the plate, baby, and get it down your neck. And on that note, see you again. Take care. Go on. It's lovely. Mm.